Hi, everyone. We are live with some of my favorite ladies. And we just wanted to come and have a ladies chit chat night where we can just chill from all this social distancing that's been going on. And we haven't been able to meet and we're just like, let's do something different. And so we're all joining each other tonight. If you would like to join us um, in the description, there's a link on the live. Otherwise, if you're joining us, feel free to comment hi in the comment section. In. Um, if you want to join in on any of the questions we're discussing, feel free. Or if you have any questions, feel free to, to post them. Um, and shares of this event is always appreciated. Uh, we'll start off with just a brief introduction. We'll just go around um, and introduce ourselves. I'll start off. I'm Melissa with Jacksonville Business Connections. Um, our mission and what we do is high level is basically connect businesses to the community through our virtual and local community events and our um, online directory. Christina, you want to go? There, am I unmuted now? <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay, sweet. I'm Christina Duncan. I own the Gift of Dance, which is a um, dance program. We go into local community centers, preschools, and after school care, um, teaching kids the foundation of dance and giving them an opportunity to perform in the community. And it's just really, really fun. Who's next? <laughs> Who wants to go next? I'll go. Nice to meet you, Christina. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Hi, Jody. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm Good to see you again. I know, you too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my name is Ulysses, and I'm the owner of uh, Mindful Journey. And um, the, but what the business is, is offer stress production classes um, online using the Zoom platform. And they're live classes, so it's not like um, they're recorded. You're, I'm there with you guys live. Um, we use an evidence-based tool known as mindfulness. And yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a great tool. It's a wonderful tool to reduce stress, to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, um, which come along when you're struggling with chronic stress. And most people don't even know that they're struggle, struggling with chronic stress. Um, and it boosts creativity, it boosts mood, better sleep, improved memory, um, just a whole bunch of wonderful mental and physical health benefits. Yeah, and we, we provide the service for kids and adults. So that's the business. A little bit about myself. Um, I am a full-time stepmother of two, two girls, uh, 17 and 10, and I have a son who's, he'll be seven in July. Um, so I was born in Cuba, raised in Miami, and now I live in St. Augustine, and I've been living there for five years, maybe three, no, four, four or five years. Yeah. And so that's my home. And this is what I do. Um, that's it. That's all. Thank you for letting me be here today. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. So I'll go. Okay. <laughs> I go, Jody. I like this um, StreamYard. I'm I'm seeing it again. I want to figure this out, Melissa. Thank you for always bringing us together. It's so much fun because I so miss being out showing I'm a realtor. I think I've connected with almost everyone except Christina Duncan. So. I'm happy to see you on here. Um, uh, I love helping people, whether it's just hel helping them buy a house, sell a house, but I also have a lot of connections. I really enjoy um, the aspect of 
connecting people. Like, so yesterday when I went to a seller's house, they have a perfect pool and they loved their experience. It's the first time I've heard of that. So now I have a really awesome pool contractor that I can refer. And it's kind of been one of my missing parts since I started real estate up here. I've been here, it'll be four years in August. Um, my first year I focused on being mom and I met Melissa with our girls dancing together. And I truly believe that people are connected for a reason. And so I'm super grateful to have the, met Melissa and the things that I've gotten to experience every single time we connect. So it's thank you, Melissa, for your vision and what you do um, with Jacksonville Business Connections. Um, and I, I'm excited to, to keep moving my business. So I, I ended up joining a new you're welcome Jody <laughs> thank you so yeah so I think it's gonna be this is a great platform that I think is gonna stay whether we're in quarantine or not because today on our morning call um which Krista you were there with us we had two people from the UK I mean it, it's connecting globally now. So I'm, I'm just loving learning all these platforms. So, and you listen, I'm still going to call you. I need to get on that. I've just moved my business this past week and it's been like, boom, all kinds of stuff that I've had to do. So I'm going to need you. And I already talked to my son about it and we're, we're going to get connected to you. So so I'm good. I'm going to mute myself and let Krista take the floor. Hello, everyone. And hello to Melissa and Jody again from this morning. My name is uh, Krista. And Hi. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> um, I live in Palm Coast, Florida. And um, I am a licensed and certified vibrational sound therapy practitioner. Um, so... UAC and I probably, uh, you know, sh she's using mindfulness as her relaxation modality, and then I'm using uh, vibrational sound therapy as another form of relaxation modality. Um, I won't get into that here because the whole spiel and all that, but I'd um, use Himalayan singing bowls placed on the body, uh, and I actually play them on the body when a person is closed, and it helps induce an immediate relaxed state. Um, I married and no kids, but one, one first son who's wanting to go in and out of the door. So if you see me lean, I'm letting him out and then he'll want to come back in a, a few minutes later. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to be here, um, and meeting some new people and, uh, also learning about these new platforms. Melissa, I know I messaged you. I really, really liked that platform this morning for the virtual speed networking. I thought that was really novel and like kind of fun, you know, jumping, jumping tables and, and, you know, meeting other people. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that too. Yeah. I've been really enjoying the, that platform. It's fun. Um, yeah, so I think it's just learning each platform. Like we have um, at the we networking, we have people. So I'm gonna jump in, and I'm gonna I'm someone sneezes and um, strangers. Um, I can start off by saying it just depends. Like if it's here in the household, if it's if it's not near me, it's not too big of a deal. But if it's like super close, I might give a look or like I'm. I like, like do something funny and cover my nose with my my shirt, but, but uh, it's just been fun to kind of play around it with, with you know family and friends, and then if with uh, a Mark or something, and we're at the grocery store and or. <laughs> picking up food or anything and someone sneezes or
we just give each other that look. Oh, I just texted Melissa. We're losing her. Yeah, I can't. I can't hear you. <laughs> You're coming in and out. I thought it was just me. I'm not. No. <laughs> like, I mean, I wanna. I wanna tell her we're losing you, girl. I maybe she, she has so many things probably going on at her house. <laughs> Oh no, we lost her. She just texted me. I'm I'm losing. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> but we still are live. That's what's so crazy. Yeah, so. That's, that's the best part. So how do you guys how how would you react? Oh, Jeez. with the coughing. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm like my husband is <laughs> a lot out on the street because he sells liquor. Yeah. So the liquor stores are busy and now he's taking uh, unfortunately some of them got furloughed so when he comes home i'm like you need to take your clothes off like stay mm -hmm. in here and don't come in here because i don't i went out yesterday for a listing appointment um and it all depends on the family if they're comfortable i go but we stood in their kitchen like feet apart and like I opened one of the doors and then i was like oh do you have a wipe i need to wipe up and it was just like it's kind of comical what the things that happen right yeah it's definitely different now like i'm a hugger and so when i see people at the grocery store i like walk towards them i'm like oh wait i can't do that it's like a weird awkward like uh elbows <laughs> like i don't yeah, know like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's tough i mean i I hope it's not our normal, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa's on a delay. She's like, <laughs> what about you, Ulysses? Um, for myself, I just hold my breath and walk away as fast as I can. <laughs> you know, that's what I do. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but luckily, you know, unless I'm, I'm really only out just for groceries or yeah, traveling when I travel down to Miami, which I know is like a hot spot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, I'm not really out. Yeah. Well, I have classes, dance classes, but I do still have my preschool class because preschools are open, and so. Yeah. I mean, kids are coughing and seizing on me all the time, just on a regular daily basis. So I just take my clothes off as soon as I get home and put pajamas on. And I even do it, like, without even thinking about it now. Like, it's just as soon as I get home, change my clothes. So it makes for a lot of laundry. Uh-oh. <laughs> we lose somebody. Yeah, it looks like we're losing some people. How about you, Krista? Um, I haven't really gone out. Uh, I'm one of those kind of, I'm not uh, immune, immunocompromised, but semi immunocompromised. And um, so uh, I've, I've been in the whole time. I haven't really uh, gone out maybe once a week, if that. Um, I'm kind of lucky right now because uh, uh, my husband is, he also can't do his business right now. He's a wedding and event bartender. You know, so whenever you need to hire a bartender or staff for your wedding or event, you know, he sends them out. So he's been, um, obviously he can't, uh, most of his business is gone as well, but, uh, he got, was able to get a job at Aldi. Um, so he picks up all the groceries <laughs> and, um, so it's been really easy that way. Um, and, uh, yeah, I haven't really went into any places where there's a lot of people. Um, so I've been fortunate in that regard. That's good. Yeah, that's been my same, like I've gone to Walmart and I'm wearing a mask here and there and 
I just don't understand why people are having to wear them in their cars, but I, I respect everyone's position and how they feel comfortable. So I'm always like, oh, I just gonna not say anything, you know, just kind of do what makes them feel comfortable. Yeah. Oh, we lost you, Lissy. We're getting a little like spotty connections. I'm sure there's a lot of people on all of the. For a second. And Ulysses messaged that her computer died. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on like. But I just battery. yelled at everybody to get off the Wi Fi. So hopefully I'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what happened. I didn't even get to hear anybody's responses. <laughs> you have to go back and watch it. <laughs> we caught you doing the elbow. <laughs> it's super delicious. Yeah, the elbow. <laughs> yeah. I got that up. I opened like the doors. I'm like, maybe the Wi Fi will like pick up better. So I you never know with this stuff. That's what happens when you're live. You never know what you're going to face. Right. But the more you're using it, the, it seems the better it's like, you know, it's coming together. So I think it's great. Oh, we got you, Lissy, back. Yay! Yeah, I'm having fun. Sorry. My laptop died. The battery died. <laughs> but I'm back. What did I miss? for a while because my wi-fi wasn't supporting anything <laughs> no. um <clears throat> i just wanted to share with you guys because i just saw an email really quick um jacksonville there's a how there's about a any station um, in jacksonville oh, oh go ahead you oh okay <laughs> sorry um, so there's a radio station in Jacksonville that is promoting businesses um, on their station for free for small business owners. So if any of you guys um, want some detail, I can give you the email to that. So they will advertise your small business because they want to help out small businesses in Jacksonville with everything that's going on. So they will advertise um, your small business on the radio. That's awesome. So if you guys want some information. Yeah, that is really awesome. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it on the radio the other day and I was in the I was just getting in the car. And so luckily there was a pen in there. So I wrote it down. I was like, this is a great opportunity. Have you always done your um virtual appointments? Have you always done that? Or is this new that you lay see? The classes? Yeah, the classes, yep. The, the online classes is new, but okay. the class is not new. Okay. It's just the online. I've never hosted it online, so uh -huh. that'll be a new experience for me. Yeah. Um, But the class, no, the class is in you. I saw the class at Flagler. Um, I, I mean, I, I used to teach this to, this is the modality that I would use with clients when I was working as a therapist mm -hmm. and in my group therapies as well. Mm -hmm. So the modality is in you to me, just the platform the zoom platform gotcha. so i'll have to learn yeah and then i also teach it to small kids too i taught the course at the montessori school oh very to cool first second and third graders very cool yeah. yeah i was telling melissa in the interview that we had that at my i would love to bring this tool into the schools you know that that is my my goal is to bring it into the schools because I know how beneficial it can be mm -hmm. for kids. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 I definitely think um, I see a need for the coping for the kids, especially after what's going on now, right now. It's, I mean, it's already been something. I mean, I'm going to be open with you guys. I talked to Ulysses about this when I first met her and I've been really, really meaning to call you. And cause I do think, that the middle school age they really need to find some way to cope because they are on their phones so much in that age group because once you're in high school you're busy you've got your car or your license you're driving to your own sports you're you know they're interacting a lot more they're not on their phones but my sixth grade seventh grader it's it's just constant and i'm 
trying to find a way to teach my son. Like even last night, I was like, just take 10 deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. And, and I'm like, I don't know. I hope it's working, but he just is frustrated because coming to dinner and getting off his computer and coming to walk the dog to get off his computer. I can see the like stress that goes through his brain of like, what? I have to get off. I have to get off. It's like, yes, you have to get off. But, and I've been trying like in the beginning of this, I was so structured and scheduled and get up at eight shower and be at your computer by nine. And now I'm like this morning, I didn't even get up till nine. I was like, I'm exhausted. (laughs) And I'm trying to stay scheduled, but I was like, I need a minute. Mm -hmm. That's okay. (laughs) Yeah. That's all right. You know? Yeah. I'd say in the last week, the this sleep morning, and my schedule my has been has all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it's it is all over the place, right? Yeah, it, there's no definitely routine. like yeah. What day is it? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> right, Alexa, every day <laughs> eight. <laughs> Oh, this is funny then. This brings up a funny topic about sleep schedules then because um, I shared this meme the other day on Facebook, but it's re- it's relevant to what we're talking about. And it said um, it was referencing trying to get motivated to get up and change my sleep pajamas into my t- daytime pajamas so I can start the day. <laughs> And I could so relate to that. I was laughing. I'm like, all right, I get up. Depending on if I have a live interview or something, I might throw on a nice shirt, but I still got on like comfy pants. And (laughs) it's like, okay, what do I need to do to be presentable for the live? And then, and then right after that, I might be like, oh, let me take this off and throw back on my comfy shirt. (laughs) Pull the bra off. You're like, oh, Oh, yes. Oh Oh my God. God. Freedom. I was watching um, one of the families that they're like, uh, I forget their name right now, the Holderness family. I love them. And the mom today is like, these are jeans. See, zipper, button. They're called jeans. And then like she's reintroducing (laughs) us to like what real clothes are. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Yeah, that's scary. I don't think I can fit my jeans. (laughs) <laughs> no. no oh no. my gosh yeah it's been definitely interesting to be home this much yeah i don't like it i mean it's, it's tough it's tough mm-hmm. krista with but your business are you mostly home now. then myself yes i actually can't do my business uh until even though there's a lot, it's a little bit, I'm confused. Like the massage therapists I've been talking to say we can't, that, that our uh, schedule won't be open until May 8th. And I know other places are May 1st. Um, I don't even know if we'll be included in this first wave. Cause you know, you're still, um, I don't technically fall under massage therapy, so I could be working now, but since I rent from a massage office, it's a gray area and I don't want to jeopardize her license or anything like that. So I've just chosen to follow the same, um, the same protocols, but you know, you've got that hovering aspect, you know, when you're working, whether they're clothed or not clothed for massage, you, you're, you're hovering over them or their face up and, you know, breathing in your face. And um, uh, I just don't know if that's going to be one of the things that they're going to allow in the first wave. I hope so. I've sent out uh, an email saying what steps I'm going to take with, with my clients as far as I'll wear a mask, gloves. Um, of course, linens change. That's already part of the health health protocol, linens change for uh, every client and things like that. But also additionally, we'll do also sanitizing the bed. Um, it's hard to sanitize my bowls. Anything corrosive is going to degrade it um, and uh, tarnish it. So um, the best thing I can do is maybe wipe them down with uh, soapy water between clients. Um, 
Right. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, it's up in the air. I've done a couple sound baths online, free sound baths, because I also do group sound concerts as well. I've done a couple of those for free online. Um, and I'm looking to maybe continue that as uh, another avenue of income because, you know, there are people that can't leave the house any at any, any time or um, don't have transportation to an event that I think could really benefit um, from doing uh, sound therapy, group sound therapy. So right now I'm looking into what what platform is best because sound quality is very important uh, for doing the bowls or feeling the effects of the bowls. So um, I've heard Twitch is kind of a good platform for sound. So I might look into that and see um, how the bowls play. Uh, and I've had a lot of success with um, the people who join actually wearing a in your ear earbuds or, or um, headphones. I think that also helps. So um, yeah, I'm also pursuing that too as an alternative in case we're not allowed to um, resume services on the 8th. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious, like without getting into debate or I'm just curious, like who is ready for things to open up and anybody here ready? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I am too. I, I know some people are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. With a mask. Yeah. Because. <laughs> but I. Wouldn't yeah, know. with masks, of course. With the yeah, with the I'm still not... precautions. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't just say like everybody just meet up and breathe on each other, but it's just tough for businesses to survive and us being yeah. like locked in our houses. So yeah. I'm just waiting. I'm like waiting on when they're going to update us for the next. What's it to happen? Soon. I hope it's soon. I mean, it's supposed my, to be soon. My husband came home from work and said, because he's really in the bar industry with his job. And they're supposed to be giving an announcement Friday about possibly opening 50% capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I would be, I'm a proponent of, Everything happens for a reason. And I think, you know, um, mm -hmm. I'd be at, like the first one at the restaurant. I'll go there. I'll support the business. I'll sit there. I'll, I'll test the That's water. right. This, all would you have to be wearing a mask though, Jody, or would you just go without it? I mean, I don't know if that's going to be part of their precautionary opening, but I, I have been not wearing a mask when I go into the stores. Um, but I've literally been, I think, to Walmart four times. Joey's been doing all everything because he's been out. I mean, most everything I, I've sold two houses virtually. I did a rental with a family that I know. Mm -hmm. So it's been like, okay for me not to go. You know, people have been more virtual. And I think people would probably agree that, I mean, things will stay changed to some degree. Like I could see myself continuing doing the virtual interviews and even these chit chats and, and even virtual events has just been fun. And it's been a new avenue that I've, you know, opened up and I'm really enjoying it. And so for me, I've, I've found a positive in it in terms of business. And then in terms of personal life, it's definitely helped me to, not be running out all the time. And then, you know, me and my daughter have been doing bike rides more and she used to go to dance every night. And with her not going to dance, I've been able to see her hanging out with friends, even though it's probably not socially acceptable, but it's usually at a park in an open space and they need to get out. They ride their bikes, they do something appropriate. And I, I think she's actually enjoying life. She didn't know what that was like before. So there's been a lot of benefits and pluses. Yeah, there definitely has I guess been it's interesting, some right? Good what about you guys? We've had some really Where good. We have. What was that? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say how, you know, we have to use so much technology now, but yet this is also giving us an opportunity to reconnect with the earth and to go on these walks and these bikes and, you know. Pollution's down. Kind of, yeah, pollution is down by a mm -hmm. lot by a lot yeah it, so it has I'm to do with you know quarantine 
Yeah. You know, this is the only planet we have. We have to take care of it. For sure. So. What were you going to say, Christina? Oh, I was just saying that it's given us a lot of really good family time. Um, I have a 16-year-old and a 6-year-old. So um, being that we can't go out and do anything, like we're forced to um, – just bond with each other. We've I've had them working out with me in the garage and out running and just it's really forced us to try different things that they would have totally been opposed to before. So um, they're bored and I'm stir crazy. So I'm like, let's just try it. Or we had um, <laughs> a bonfire the other night and root beer floats and Je my mm. son thought that was like the coolest thing ever because he got to roast hot dogs on the bonfire so it was just it's just been a lot of really cool family moments a lot of um just bonding so it's been it's been good that aspect of it has been good mm, that's sweet i do love that mm -hmm. That's yeah, what a, what a beautiful way to bond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, Krista, so your dog, what kind of dog do you have? You go. Uh, on. <laughs> he's a rescue um, from down here. He's he's a mixed breed. Uh, we don't really know what he is, but um, according to the adoption papers, he's half Shiba Inu, oh. which is yeah Japanese um, dog, mm -hmm. and uh, he's very timid. <laughs> so he's, he's very quiet and timid. He just always wants to be, you know, by my side. So, um, but talking about, you know, things that you realize when you have this time together, it's, it's been nice to um, spend more time with him, but also uh, spending more time with my husband because, you know, as a bartender, wedding bartender, his events are at night and I would do most of my work in the morning. So it was kind of, you know, passing ships and that, uh, you know, I, I'd be asleep by the time he came home, you know, and then I'd be awake before he was. And then I, you know, and, and, and then those kind of things. So um, we've actually been able to do, you know, nice little board games or couples activities that um, we haven't really ever done since uh, since we've known each other. Basically, he's always worked in bartending and uh, I did too for a little while. So our schedules matched up but then when i moved to working a daytime a civilian job you know nine to five in the daytime then you know we we didn't see each other that often so that time together has been really nice mm -hmm. yeah I've, I've been actually go ahead i was just gonna say bringing up like significant others uh jody I think you shared a video the other day and it made me laugh about it was like husband and wife and breathing on each other and being too close all the time. Has that been like a curse or a blessing if you have a significant other <laughs> that's either home all the time? <laughs> yeah, for us, I he started working um, today. Well, yesterday, Monday, I keep thinking today is Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah. See, that's the day. Like the two days ran into each other. So he's been, unfortunately, a few of them got furloughed and it's really, really sad and stressful. But so now he's out working more, which for me, I was like grateful that he gets to learn more of what all of his team does and get out in there, do some things, help people. Because, yeah, I was kind of ready for some space. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have, um, Mark still works, so he's with Home Depot, which is considered essential, and I, I enjoy the time, because even though I still only get them on the weekends, it's, we're not running around doing a hundred things, and I've, I've enjoyed the, uh, I've enjoyed the, like, Netflix Hulu binges, he's not so much into that, but, hey, <laughs> Yeah. Anybody else like have any favorite Netflix or Hulu binges or any kind of streaming that you guys have have watched recently? <laughs> so
So Joey has been watching Cheers being from Massachusetts and I used to hate that show. I just didn't see it funny. And now I watch it and I'm like, I die laughing, but it's, it's so back when that time when it was appropriate to just, there's so many things that are said that you're like, I can't believe they just, <laughs> just you, you ha, it's funny if you guys are at all into it. I used to think it was so like, just, I was younger then and I didn't understand it. Now some of the humor, I'm like, okay, that's inappropriate, but I'm going to die laughing. So <laughs> it's fun. And my kids are watching, oh gosh, what is the show she just told me to watch? I have to text Elsie. It's apparently it's really good. Um, Outward Bound, I think. Hmm. Is it a series? Yeah, I'm going to find out. I had to text it's her. It's not the, um, oh, I think I've been watching it if it's what I'm thinking of. The Outer Banks? Yes, she is. <laughs> oh, is it good? Are you watching it, Melissa? Yeah, I'm into like episode three and it, it's okay. I mean, I think it is for the younger, but like when there's nothing, you're trying to find something to watch. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. <laughs> Well, and they're trying to make it like the number two or number one show because like what? I mean, did everyone watch Tiger King? I finally did. And I was, no. I just watched one episode. I couldn't. I just it's couldn't. really? No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. I, we said, we said no. <laughs> we're going to watch the whole show on Sunday. It was like two weeks ago and we set aside that Sunday. It was finally raining out. I was like, look, it's raining. We don't have to do anything outside and so yeah we committed to it and we watched the whole day and i left that show going was that real that was real that really happened <laughs> <laughs> what? yeah that was a lot of my reaction the whole entire thing <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't when they, when they don't have the teeth a little bit i was like something in there I don't so know. for you, for those who haven't watched it, a, a girl actually who works there gets her arm ripped off by a tiger and she's like, it's fine. And she goes back to work within like, it was like two weeks or something. And she was like, I, I, I don't blame the tigers. And I'm like, holy cow, like that's dedication. Yeah, that was crazy. Did you mention the Tiger King? What was that? Did you mention the Tiger King? I'm having such a hard time hearing everybody. I'm gonna try and sign in through the laptop. Yeah, it was Tiger King we were talking about. The <laughs> uh, well, are you on an iPad or on your, what are you on, Leslie? Are you on a computer or an iPad? I can't hear anything. Oh no. I'm just I'm curious. gonna try and sign on through the laptop and see if that's better. Okay. Yeah, I was curious, Melissa, like if you're on a, like with our other, um, that app this morning where if you go on the phone, it doesn't work really. But right. I was curious if she's on oh, an are iPad. Are all of you guys on your, on an iPad? Or I'm like on a laptop. Okay. I'm on a computer. I'm on my phone. Yeah, oh, you seem to work pretty good. Yeah, you've been good. So the phone works for this. That's good. Good yeah. to know. Except if you get a call that comes in in the middle of your interview, because that's oh. what happened. <laughs> what you know, you can set iPad slash iPhones to do not disturb when you're doing something like that. Oh, good to know. <laughs> I, need, I, need to, I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> I think it's so under what, the settings. What did it do to you? Did it just like pause your interview? <laughs> yeah, didn't it? I don't remember even how long. It was like a long pause. I think um, it went we black to, like, for a little bit. Out, and then we had to get back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's the tricky part of this whole thing. But Well, I'm allergic well, to technology, so I don't, I don't do it well. I've switched to online classes for dance and I don't love it. I mean, I, I'm happy to see the kids, but I just, yeah, I'm, I'm technology illiterate. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get better. I have to get better with my business because mm -hmm. everything's virtual. I'm signed up for Zoom now and StreamYard. Me and Melissa 
she's figured this one out. I haven't even started to figure it out yet, but I've been using Marco Polo and FaceTime. Yeah. Mom. yeah. Like everything. Now I've been to house party. I'm like, okay, I got an invite to a party the other night. I was like, it's cool. I don't know how to get in there though. <laughs> What's a house party? Never heard of that one. I, I couldn't figure it out. I had to sign in and my kids, Vinny had the account under my email. So I had to kick him out, but it, it's kind of like the same thing when you're on your phone, it, it can put multiple people in the call. So I haven't really figured it out yet, but now I know about it. And I heard about Twitch before I just learned that one. I don't know how it works, but. Okay. So what is Twitch? I haven't heard of that. Krista. Yeah. Twitch is, I mean, it's mostly a, a platform for gaming. So basically it would be like this kind of, except you're watching somebody play a video game while they're playing and they can do all their cool stuff. I'm not into that part of it. Like I still don't get the feel of watching somebody else play a video game. Usually I'm going to play them by myself. But I, I've heard uh, through other people, especially um, people that are doing like DJ sets um, on Facebook uh, um, during the quarantine, I've said that that particular platform has the best audio. So I was just looking at it from that standpoint. But mostly it's people you know like um other platforms where you know people watch you and they support you and donate and different things like that but um yeah mostly for the audio aspect for me that's good to know i swear there's applications coming out like hourly yeah. sometimes it's hard to keep up with everything yeah and about tiger king i i don't have the extra reserves to see how wacko it is. I need to. I, I've been watching a lot of true crime and that's kind of wiped out my uh, ability to process outlandish things. I just need to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like true crime too. My mom loves all those shows. Probably uh, what is I just, they get too dark for me. I'm like, ah, I can't watch them. <laughs> My husband likes to watch those crime shows too. And I, I can't watch those shows, not at night, anything like that at night. I'm like, no, I can't. Why do you put this on? <laughs> like, you know, I can't do this. It's so scary and it's sad and it's like, I don't love it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. It took him a while to convince me finally to watch The Tiger King. I was seeing all these memes on Facebook and I was like, I don't know what this is. And it took him a while and I finally sat to watch it and <laughs> I was glued. To the TV. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just crazy how all of that unfolded. You know, it started off as just a simple documentary. That's yeah. what's mind blowing about that. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely comical. To say the least. Don't we have um don't we have a wildcat sanctuary in, in St. Augustine too? Yes, somewhere. I think so. Yeah. I, I, don't, know. That. I don't know where it is, but it's called Caddyshack. Caddyshack? Has anybody been to it? No. No. Me neither. Mm -mm. I feel bad for those animals. I don't think that we should have them caged up. I don't no. think so either. Yeah. I, I not don't know those or, or orcas or dolphins or any of them. You know? Yeah, it's sad. Have any of you seen Blackfish, the documentary? Oh, it's Blackfish. It's very eye opening. It's about um the Sea World industry and, and those type of industries and I'm you know, putting it on the list. Yeah, I'm writing it down. <laughs> yeah, it's called Blackfish. It's called Blackfish. Um, so, that's what, yes. The one thing I don't like, like I was not wanting to watch Tiger King because I was afraid I'd see animal abuse and they were really good about not. Will they show that on Blackfish? No. no. It just no. tells you. Okay. I just can't. We'll show it. 
you might hear, you know, that maybe one of the guys has killed a cub, but they won't show anything like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it on shows to watch. So my son has a tournament at eight that he's been invited to. So I'm going to go upstairs and help him get set up in a few minutes. But Ulysses, That's I'm good. I'm gonna make sure to to get in touch with you the end of this week when my week is not so crazy and I'm caught Absolutely. up switching my business to my new brokerage. Um, um, next weekend, I have my online class starting, the stress reduction class starting. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you, like just quickly. It, so, is there a would it matter when we start? Do you have schedules or like? Could well, we I have this? one starting May 9th. Okay. It's- course and then i have another one starting june 27th so after those first six weeks then i have another one starting june 27th so may 9th so the, it would be saturday yep six saturdays six consecutive saturdays um at 10 a.m and it is about an hour an hour and a half depending on how much we share you know okay. but the first, the first class is going to be almost like an overview of what the rest of the week is going to be. And we're going to go and we're going to get a little bit into stress, talking about stress versus chronic stress and everything that comes with chronic stress. And then I'm going to teach you um, a specific meditation, um, mindfulness meditation that you will practice the rest of the week. Because like I told Melissa in the interview, you know, you can, you can take as many mindfulness courses as you want, but unless you sit and actually practice you won't see any change because when you sit to practice, you're rewiring your brain. Um, it's like riding a bike. You know, you could read a book on how to ride a bike, but unless you sit on the bike, you're never going to learn. Right. It's just like we say, practice makes perfect. You're not going to do it until you practice it. And then you get it. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like a, like an exercise for the muscle. I mean, it's like an exercise for the, for the brain muscle, for the mind muscle, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm really lifting really cool. So May 9th. That's good. Yeah, I don't want to wait till June. I think it's <laughs> now with and this half and half, maybe we go. We're obviously not going back to school. So I'd like something else on my son's calendar because my daughter's calendar is very full with dance and singing and lacrosse and church. She's getting confirmed. She's still doing, they've been doing everything um virtually. So. But yeah, so this was so fun, Melissa. Thank you for setting it up. Absolutely, I'm glad you guys all attended. It's been a fun time. I want to do it again. Yeah. yeah this is good. Now, as it's again, like every time we do something, we we know how to get in. We know where to go. It's easier practicing it. So. Yeah, yeah, and I, I posted that, you know, if anybody wanted to join, I put the link in, but no one joined us. I was curious if anybody would be brave enough to try to join in. <laughs> well, I dated my girlfriend from Kansas, but I don't think I got back to her because we talked last Thursday and then I switched my brokerage and it's just been gangbusters. So I'm going to tell her that it would be fun, like not have to be from Augustine or Jacksonville, anywhere, you know. Yeah, anywhere. Just this is supposed to be so lighthearted and fun and something different. Right. It is. It's nice to meet all of y'all. Yeah, nice Likewise. to meet you. I'm going to I'm going to sign off too. Thanks everyone for joining. Nice. Yes. All right, bye everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye.